Hello viewers, today I am going to teach you all what a flyback transformer is. This is a flyback transformer. The CCR end of that and that's called the anode cap. So I'm sure a lot of you do know what a flyback transformer is. And I'm sure a lot of you don't know. So a flyback transformer is a part off of a CRT tube. Every CRT has to have one of these in order to draw picture. So what it essentially is, it's a, it's a transformer that's connected to a circuit board with about 600 volts leading into the transformer. Transformer delivers extremely high voltage along into this part to electrodes. I know you can't see them because that's a piece of glass from when I did take this off of the TV. But it leads to two electrodes and the electrodes goes inside to the tube where an anode hole is. And it connects to three different magnetic field protrons and once the energy is released from one of these and hits all three of them magnetic fields, the magnetic fields adjust, and that's how they get the image. So the beam, if you ever take a magnet and put it up to a CRT TV, the beam, or the picture, or whatever you want to call it, moves around from the magnet when you get it near it. That's because the magnet is so strong, it's grabbing a hold of the beam, the laser beam. Well, it's not a laser, it's an x-ray beam, but it's grabbing a hold of that beam, and disturbing the image and it's coming towards you if you get what i'm saying it you just essentially take a magnet put it up near the tube and it gets near you it follows the magnet it's because it's chasing it that is essentially how this works is these this connects those two electrodes connects to a magnet or three different magnets in the inside of a crt that moves around and determines whatever image you have. If you have a picture of a house on your screen, it's all controlled by this. This is the main source of a CRT, is a flyback transformer. This is what makes the image move. This is what makes the image make image. This does pretty much everything. And if you go ahead and rotate on the back, or the front of the flyback transformer, you see two knobs, one of them's focus, and one of, them, one of them says screen. So the top one is for focus. And the bottom one is for screen, which means brightness. So top focus, bottom one screen. So that is pretty much what a flyback transformer. It delivers high voltage into a tube to, mouth, to adjust and move around the picture and create the picture on the inside of the tube. You can go ahead and see the bottom of it where it's connected. You can see you got about nine or ten electrodes on, or ten connectors on there. You got three, six, eight, nine, ten. Ten, I might have said nine, sorry, but there's ten. So that is what a flyback transformer is, and that's what a flyback transformer does. Is basically, let me put it fast. It delivers high voltage into the tube and controls and makes the image on the CRT. That is what a flyback transformer is. I hope you all learned something about what a flyback transformer is. Now, whenever you take a CRT and you want to go open it up and work on it, especially after it's been unplugged, you want to take a screwdriver with a... Uh, You want to take a screwdriver, something like this. It's a screwdriver with a copper wire connected to the metal. And that leads to here. So whenever you, when you open up a CRT and you're done using it, um, whenever up, you open up a CRT and you want to do some work on it, you always want to discharge it. 
So you want to stick this end into the um, cup. And before you do that, you connect this to a ground point and you want to stick this into a cup. I do have a video on how to discharge a CRT. So go ahead and watch that if you want to know how to discharge a CRT. Anyway, that is what a flyback transformer does. This one's dirty. Came out of a TV. It's been sitting outside. But... And there you go. Thanks for watching.